You're watching the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I am Harrison Graham, and Victory Monday has never tasted sweeter for Kansas City as they won their second Super Bowl in four years last night with an epic 38-35 win over the Philadelphia Eagles in Super Bowl 57. But you know what they say, the job never stops for GM Brett Veach, and uh, off-season coverage starts today here on the Chiefs Report. And hey, we're almost at 40,000 subscribers. We picked up about 2,000 during our Super Bowl watch party. Round of applause to all of you. If you have not joined the movement, if you have not joined the Chiefs Report family, this is the time to do so. We're 555 subs away. Can we get to 40,000 very, very quickly by the end of February? I think we can. Hit that sub button, and we will continue to bring you guys videos every single day this offseason. Let's talk about the quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. We'll first talk about uh, kind of offseason timeline with his injury. Uh, and then we'll talk about his legacy a little bit as well. Patrick Mahomes said his ankle injury shouldn't affect his offseason training. Here's what he had to say. He said, I'll for sure be ready for OTAs and everything like that. Obviously, we'll continue to rehab, continue the treatment that we were doing, and just give it some rest. I think the best thing for it is going to be rest. Just try to make sure when we get to OTAs, I'm ready to go. One thing that I might take a hit is my golf game, so I'll take a few weeks off of that. Look, as far as I'm concerned, if he wants to rest until training, camp. Uh, I am perfectly fine with that. Uh, but that's kind of the beauty of Patrick Mahomes. He's such a just low-key superstar. Like, I don't think he really understands how much of a star he actually is. He's like, oh yeah, I'll be, I'll be there for training or uh, OTAs ready to go. It's like, dude, you could skip OTAs. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but uh, that's just how he's wired. I mean, he, he's chasing greatness uh, at the highest level. And I mean, let's talk about this run he just went on. And remember, he suffered a high ankle sprain in the second quarter of his first playoff game against the Jags in the divisional round. What did he do? 72% completion in the playoffs, 703 yards, seven touchdowns, no interceptions, passer rating of almost 115, and a couple of notable scrambles despite dealing with an injured ankle. You think of the run late in the Cincinnati game, got the late hit as well to set up Harrison Butker. You think of the 25-yard scramble in the Super Bowl late to set up the game-winning kick for Butker again. He made plays when he had to. He was absolutely fantastic, and the efficiency was just off the charts. A great playoff run for Patrick Mahomes. And now you look at his resume, and this is a guy who is 27 years old and has only started five years in this league. Well, in those five years, he's won the Super Bowl twice. He's been three times. He's won two Super Bowl MVPs. He's won two NFL MVPs. He's been to a conference championship game in every single year that he has started. And like I said, he's made the Super Bowl three times in five years, and he's won it twice. This is unprecedented. I mean, look, Tom Brady had three Super Bowls by the age of 27, I believe, but he did not have the individual accolades. He did not have two NFL MVPs. Uh, he did not, he did not uh, have the individual statistics that Mahomes has. He is off to the greatest start uh, to a career that we have ever seen in the history of the NFL. He's already a Hall of Famer, guys. Five, five years as a starter. If he retired today, he's going to the Hall of Fame. Believe me, he will. Two MVPs, two Super Bowls, two Super Bowl MVPs, that is a Hall of Fame resume. Believe me on that. So now it's about chasing GOAT status. I mean, can he get into the stratosphere of Tom Brady? He's on pace to do so. Now there's a long way to go. I understand that. But individual statistics, I think he will get there. Uh, it's about whether he'll win enough. Can he win five, six, seven Super Bowls? He's at two. I think he probably is going to have to get to at least five to be in the conversation as go. I don't necessarily think he has to get to seven like Brady because I do think he'll pass uh, him in individual accolades. But if he can pass him in individual statistics and accolades and get five-plus Super Bowls, he could be the GOAT. I mean, it's actually possible. I said if he gets this one, it you know, you start to think about that. You start to think about that possibility. Long way to go. It's a marathon, not a sprint. But he's well on his way to being one of the greatest of all time, if not – Maybe, just maybe, the greatest of all time when it's all said and done. Now, does Mahomes have a chance to be the GOAT when it's all said and done? A chance? You got to say there's a chance, right? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Remember, people had the audacity at one point in the last year to say Joe Burrow and Josh Allen were better than this guy. They're great players. They're not Mahomes. What he's done through five years, it is unprecedented. Y for yes, N for no. Does Patrick Mahomes have a chance to be the GOAT? 
Andy Reid, is Big Red sticking around? Yep, he dismissed any retirement r rumors after last night's game. Now, who knows? Maybe he'll change his mind, but he didn't sound like someone who uh, was going to. He said, ah, yeah, I think I'll stick around as long as they'll have me. I think they'll have you, Coach. I think uh, Brett Veach and uh, Patrick Mahomes and Clark Hunt would love for you to hang around for several more years. I never really bought into this retirement buzz. I know Jay Glazer said yesterday that Andy Reid said, yeah, it's something I'd have to think about. Look, I think he went through that game and was like, why the hell would I walk away from this? I mean, I got a superstar quarterback who's only 27 years old. We got a team that's in win-now mode. I mean, shoot, like, if I still love doing this, why would I walk away? Like, and Andy Reid's a football lifer, man. I mean, he's been doing this for 30-plus years. So uh, why, why would you walk away at this point in time? And just like we're talking about Mahomes' legacy, look at Andy Reid's resume. He now has two Super Bowl wins. He's been four, four times with two different teams, by the way. Uh, 13 divisional titles, several conference championship games. I think nine because five with the Chiefs and four with the Eagles now. That's really impressive. 22-16 and 16 playoff record, 22 playoff wins uh, up there for the most all time, uh, obviously behind Belichick and a few others. Uh, 247 regular season wins. I mean, we could talk about Mahomes' legacy, but Andy Reid, he really upped his uh, legacy last night too. I think only 14 coaches have multiple Super Bowl wins, so he's entered that, four appearances. Uh, the longevity of his career is uh, uh, really, really impressive. And again, with Patrick Mahomes, only 27 years old, how could you walk away? I mean, I say Andy Reid can't walk away. He can do whatever the hell he wants. That's number one. But deep down, you got to be thinking, I can't walk away from this. I can't walk away from Patrick Mahomes, who's 27 years old. I could be back here next year and the year after that and the year after that. So, hey, Andy Reid's going to be 65. He feels like a young 65 to me. The energy is there. He's got the players to do it. He's got support from the front office. Let's keep it rolling, baby. Big Red hanging around in Kansas City, hopefully for several years to come. What do you guys think? How many more years will Andy Reid coach? I think it'll at least be multiple. Like, if I'm Andy Reid, I'm coaching at least till Mahomes is 30. Like, I'm trying to get at least another Super Bowl or two. Let me know what you guys think. How many more years do you believe Andy Reid will coach uh, and – Make no mistake, he ain't coached for another franchise. He's a chief for life. Now, speaking of the Super Bowl and being a champion, if you want some Kansas City Ch Chiefs championship gear, uh, we got you covered. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. You can pick up T-shirts, hats, uh, hoodies, other gear as well. It's all on that link at that website. Check the comments. Check the description. What's that, Sam? Men's and women's gear, by the way. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. God, this hookie, hoodie's looking great. I love the hats as well. Mahomes and Kelsey were rocking them post game. Go check it out. Fanatics has you covered. That link is in the live chat, description, and comments of this video. All right, from Andy Reid to his offensive coordinator, that is Eric Bieniemy. Is he set to leave? Well, he is set to interview with Washington for their offensive coordinator vacancy. Ravens and Cardinals could be interested as well. I think he's going to interview with Baltimore as well. That, that's at least what was reported before the Super Bowl. We know for sure he's going to sit down with Ron Rivera and Washington. Uh, here's what Andy Reid had to say when it, when it comes to his offensive coordinator. He said, listen, Eric Bieniemy has been tremendous for us. I think he has been tremendous for the NFL. I am hoping he's having an opportunity to go somewhere and do his thing where he can run the show and be Eric Bieniemy. Let me say this, and look, I will freely admit at the end of last season, I was critical of Eric Bieniemy, and I thought it was probably best to let him go. To the Chiefs' credit, they brought him back and they won a Super Bowl. So obviously, they were right in sticking by him. Jonathan Gannon, the Eagles' defensive coordinator, likely getting the Cardinals job, it looks like, potentially getting it at least, over Eric Bieniemy, who has interviewed for half the league, which clearly something's off there. I'm not sure what, and, you know, that's a different conversation for a different day. But the offense, Andy Reid and Bieniemy ran circles around Gannon, and Gannon's going to get a head coaching job, and Eric Bieniemy's got years and years and years of being this OC and uh, helping run this offense with that track record of how good it's been, and he's going to have to go call plays elsewhere before getting a chance. It, it doesn't make sense to me. I think it's bogus, to be honest with you. I mean, look at the offense this year. They trade Tyree Kill. I mean, people like Bart Scott didn't even think the Chiefs would make the playoffs this year. What did this offense do? It was more efficient than ever. It led the NFL in points per game, yards per game, pass yards per game, third and th second and third down conversions, second and red zone touchdown conversions. I mean, the creativity of this offense, which Eric Bieniemy has fingerprints all over, is on display every single week, and he's going to have to go call plays for Washington? For Baltimore, Arizona, come on. 
I just don't get it. He deserves a chance to be a head coach. I don't know if he's a shitty interviewer. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, or interviewee, I should say. But it appears he's going to have to go call plays elsewhere, and I do think he will leave. I do think he'll be someone else's play caller. So what do you guys think? What will Eric Bieniemy do? Type L for leave or type S for stay? I think he probably walks. And, hey, great run, man. The guy helped the Chiefs win two Super Bowls. Let's get to some trade rumors. DeAndre Hopkins, could he be a trade target for Kansas City? He's likely going to get traded from Arizona. Maybe, depending on who they hire, that could change. But uh, with Kyler Murray set to probably miss at least half of next year, kind of feels like a transition year for the Cardinals. They're going to hire a new coach. they got a new GM. DeAndre Hopkins on the wrong side of 30. Kyler's injury. Feels like a uh, separation makes sense there based on reports as well. And how about Nuke this morning tweeting at Patrick Mahomes? He says, at Patrick Mahomes is different, I emoji. I don't know, man. Nuke's got a no trade clause, so if Kansas City's interested, you would think he would waive that for Kansas City. Uh, and he's still very good, man. Now, the last couple of years, he's missed time for various reasons. This year, he had that uh, PED suspension, but when he was out there, he was still very good. Uh, 2021, missed some time with injuries, but he was still effective. Uh, his last two full seasons, I mean, he was top five receiver in the league, no doubt about it. Uh, the thing about Hopkins, too, is his cap hit, if traded, isn't bad. $19.5 million for a true number one receiver, that's not bad at all. Now it's not super cheap. Obviously, the Chiefs have a lot of big contracts and got some decisions to make with Orlando Brown and some other pieces. But um, here's my take. The Chiefs could trade for Hopkins and maybe let Juju and Hardman walk in free agency. And that's no slight to Juju, but A, Hopkins is a better player, and B, Juju, if I'm him, I'm looking to cash in. And look, if he cashes in elsewhere, good for him. He should. I mean, he played a key role for this team, was huge in the second half of the Super Bowl. A team might throw $18, 20000000 million at him. And uh, if I'm the Chiefs and I can trade for Hopkins, who it makes in that range, uh, who's a better player, I'd probably just rather do that than re-sign Juju to a multi-year deal. Not that I'm opposed to bringing back Smith Schuster. Uh, so we'll see what happens with DeAndre Hopkins. Here's my – I got a little trade idea. Second and fourth for Nuke, 63 overall, 63rd overall pick. Throw on a fourth as well. I think a second would get it done for most teams, but Chiefs would maybe have to throw in an extra pick as, A, they're picking late in the second round, and, B, Arizona would realize, oh, we're really helping out uh, a really good team get even better. So second and a fourth for Hopkins, I'd do that. Brett Veach has 11 draft picks this year. Would you do this trade? Type T for trade or P for pass? I mean, imagine adding Hopkins to this offense. I mean, Hopkins, Kelsey, the way you can run the ball, Pacheco now, probably bring back Jarrett McKinnon. Kadarius Toney emerging. Sky Moore had his first touchdown in the Super Bowl. You think he's in line for a bigger role next year? Valdez Scantling making plays here and there. Man, it could be a lot of fun. T for trade, P for pass, if you would do this trade for DeAndre Hopkins. And a receiver that you traded away last year, Tyree Kill. He was tweeting throughout the Super Bowl last night. I felt like he was cheering for the Chiefs based on what he was tweeting out. Uh, he was being complimentary of both teams, but he's been pretty consistent that. He, he clearly likes his boys in Kansas City. Tweeted this out after the game. He said, boy, 15 and 87, Mahomes and Kelsey. Has to be the greatest duo of all time. Love watching. <laughs> I got to be honest, Tyreek wants to be a Chief so bad. Like, I know he wanted to get his money. I don't blame him either. $30 million a year, pff, good for him. I'd probably do the same thing, but – you know he's wishing deep down that Kansas City would have paid that number. Like, he, he would have loved uh, to remain in Kansas City. And why wouldn't he? The culture's great there. You can chase Super Bowls year in and year out. You get to play with Patrick Mahomes. Travis Kelsey is playing next to you. I mean, you get to play for Andy Reid. Look, Tyreek's in a good spot. He had a huge year for Miami. Like, I don't think he's necessarily regretting things, but you can tell that deep down, like, had the Chiefs paid what he wanted him them to – he would have preferred to stay. I, I don't think there's any doubt about that. So who knows what the future holds for him and Miami. Could he play for the Chiefs to end his career later on? Maybe. I do think that could be a possibility, uh, but that is a ways down the road. All right, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I know we have a lot of new subscribers as well, so turn on those notifications because we go live every single Monday, 4 Eastern, 3 Central time. We publish videos every single day on the channel as well. So don't ever miss when we put out a video. The way to do that is to subscribe and turn on your notifications.